Hey, what's up guys? Keith Weldon here. Um, this is a new app called Signal Spirit Communication. Um, it was recently released on Android and iOS. You can get it at Google Play Store and the App Store. This is a radio sweeping app, an internet radio sweeping app, I should say. Um, <clears throat> like a traditional ghost box that sweeps through AM, FM radio stations, this app does something similar, but it sweeps through internet radio stations. Um, so, if you look at the app, uh, there's a power button that turns on the app. And I'll press the mute button for now. Um, you'll see there's three dials here, reverb, phaser, chorus. These are audio effects dials. And these can be changed by going into the settings. And you'll see effects dial one, two, three, reverb, phaser, chorus. If you click these, a little drop down menu will appear and you, you can select uh, what audio effect you want to use. And so if I change this to distortion, for instance, you'll see it's now distortion. And there, there are different sweep modes, regular, burst, and select. Regular is let me switch this back real quick. Regular is where the audio just continues um, as it's sweeping. Is it okay? Okay, if I switch it to burst mode, what happens is the audio will come in bursts, in bursts. <laughs> um, so it'll be quiet for a while, it'll be muted, and then it'll unmute and just play um, a burst of audio. Like that. And select is sort of an experimental sort of sweep mode that I created, which is it quietly sweeps through the different stations and then it randomly selects a station, unmutes and plays a audio clip from that station. And then it mutes again and keeps doing that over and over. Now, the idea behind this was to create a way to feed random audio clips into like say an external device like a portal for instance where the audio will be further manipulated like with reverse or noise reduction that sort of thing so like i said it's sort of a experimental sweet mode but i'll show you So that's what that does. Now you'll see the big knob right here in the middle, sweep rate. This, if I move it this way, it slows the sweep rate down, meaning it moves through the stations slower. And if I move it all the way this way, it'll move through the stations really fast. Um, now for the settings, let's see. This gyroscope UI tilting, if you notice, if I move my tablet around, you will see the UI user interface moves with it. Shows like, has this 3D effect, okay? If I turn that off, I'm moving the tablet right now and it doesn't move. So that's an option if you don't want that on. Now fade sweep, this is where instead of jumping station to station to station, 
they actually blend between each station. So if I turn that off, it just jumps between each station like a traditional ghost box would. Now fade sweep. Very subtle, very subtle difference, but it does blend between each station rather than just cutting to each station. So that's what that does. I think I had that. Yeah. Okay, there's also um, volume, pitch, stereo, and the amount of stations that you want to sweep through. Now, something to know about the stations is um, once you start getting over 10 stations, it can actually slow down the uh, buffering of the audio. So if your internet connection is not that fast, it could cause a problem where it creates the like a stuttering effect in the audio. It kind of lags the audio down. So. My recommendation is to keep it 10 or less um, for better results. But that option is there if you want. It can go all the way up to 17, okay? But if you don't have a really fast internet connection, that might be an issue. So, there's that. Now you'll see at the top where it says default one, and you'll see on the bottom here where there, it says presets, if I click that, it'll say default two, three, four, and five. Okay, these are default presets, meaning the settings, the sweep mode, the sweep rate, the different effects, and where they're dialed into all change, okay? If you tap, the box where it says default one. So I'm just tapping on, like right now I'll tap where it says custom one, I'll tap on the box, it switches. Now you'll see custom one, two, three, four, and five. Now these are all blank. And that's because you can actually save your presets. And the way to do that is, say you want reverb, phaser and gates off. Say you just want this setting right here. If you hold down the button, the preset button at the bottom for a few seconds, this will pop up. Do you wanna save current settings to custom preset one? If I press yes, now it's saved to custom preset one, the button. So if I switch back to default, this is the default preset. These can't be changed. These are always, these come preloaded with the app. But if I switch back to custom, there's my custom preset, okay? So just, that's how you save presets. Um, and that's basically it for the app. Um, this is just a quick tutorial to just show you some of the features that um, come with this app. So that's it guys, that's Signal Spirit Communication. If you click this top one also, it just brings up the about. If you go to that chillseekers.com slash signal, um, there's information about the app there, some of the other apps that we have. But that's it guys, so um, I hope you like the app and I'll see you soon.